y'all doing? So in this video, I'm going to be applying this DIY deep conditioner using the Aussies 3. It's a three minute miracle. Um, I've used this product, this is probably my fourth or fifth time using the conditioner. Personally for me, it's a little, it's not expensive girl, but um, there's other conditioners I would prefer, but this is a conditioner that's up there is really great. I know a lot of you guys use it. So let's just go right into it. You guys saw in the previous clip where I, oh yes, honey, it, it done set. I made this overnight. So you saw in the previous clip that I put everything together and it's kind of, I let it sit and it's thickened up. Isn't that funny? Look how thick it's gotten. Sorry, look at that. Let's just go ahead and get into it. I have washed my hair. Ooh. <laughs> um, y'all it's been look at my hair y'all my hair feels great i've been using jane Carter products still and um yeah it feels really good i only did one one um wash typically i do two but i wasn't in the mood so i'm gonna chit chat with y'all while i'm putting this on my hair um if you don't want to talk to me girl if you don't want to listen to this go ahead and fast forward about six minutes okay all right so did y'all know that there is a YouTuber who does um, series of where she talks and she deep conditions her hair? Um, I think that is so cool. I can't remember her name, the young lady's name. She has beautiful hair. Looks like she has 4A hair, possibly 3C somewhere in there. <clears throat> so what's going on y'all what's the tea what's going on? Look y'all I'm going back home to Texas in September. I need another clip. Um, cause it's my 20 year high school reunion, 20 years. Now I didn't go to the 10 year because I was like, child, please, I ain't doing it. Um, but I'm definitely going to hit up the 10, the 20 year because there's a couple of, of, um, family members that I want to see too while I'm in Longview, Texas. Um, y'all let me adjust this camera over here. There we go. All right. So this is what my hair is looking like now. All right. So I'm applying this and it goes on beautifully but i need to go ahead and split my hair because yeah so i know some of y'all thinking oh wasn't she supposed to do that protein treatment yes i was but i'm still waiting on it um it should be here in a couple more days and yes absolutely i'll be doing that video here soon um that will probably be towards the end of the month though it depends and um reviewing that Revlon styler for you guys and possibly do about one or two styles on a blowout. Yeah. So yeah, y'all, back to the reunion. Yeah, girl, going to my 20 year reunion. And look, y'all, I don't look anything like I did in high school. I was the fat, funny girl. Quiet sometimes, depending on shy. Um, <clears throat> I was, the time about five, two. Five to 220 pounds, yes. But baby, when I went to school, University of North Texas and didn't, Texas, my fluffy ass had to walk around everywhere. So I dropped that weight like that. I mean, I was only 17 when I went to college. So yeah, I dropped that weight in just a few months. Um, in, in YouTube world, I am laughing. I'm still watching Linda's videos. Uh, Linda, Lenny Lynn, Linda, you guys. I know some of you guys are uh, subscribed to her. She's from Louisiana. She has done two videos on things that bother her on YouTube. Um, whether it be natural hair or whatever. It's mostly natural hair YouTubers. And I think some of the stuff she was saying is absolutely funny and true. But you know what's another one that I was thinking of just today? Why is it that some YouTubers, look, I tell y'all everything. If something switches up, as far as meaning with the content and what to expect, I let you guys know ahead of time what's, what to expect. But sometimes I feel like some of these YouTubers just make it like it's secret. You know, they, they can't share what's going on. I'm like, do you have some type of a uh, contract that says you can't speak? I'm, 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 I'm confused. So the one thing that kind of frustrates me that I see uh, all too often, and it's not just natural hair again, um, you'll have a YouTuber who'll say, hey, you guys, I have some exciting stuff coming up. I can't wait to share it with you. Keep, you know, keep watching. I can't wait to let you guys know all this stuff. And then months will go by and you, nothing happens. Like, girl, what was all that exciting news and all that uh, that stuff you had to share with us? What is it? Um, stuff happens in, in the business world. But I'm like, don't put that teaser out there and then don't follow up. I, I don't know. It just, I don't know. Anyway. It is 
done. Yes, y'all. Y'all already know. I'm going to go ahead and use the rest of this, like a couple of tablespoons left. And, um, all right. I'm going to allow this, and it smells so good, you guys, between the, the yeah, lang lang and the, um, Honey, yes, it smells fabulous. So I'm gonna let this stay on my hair for about 30 to 40 minutes, okay? All right, y'all, it's actually been an hour. Um, so let's see what this looks like. All right. Wow, feels really good. What's this right here? Got a little bit of meat to rinse out there, but y'all, y'all, look at my hair. Look at this. Honey does something good to the hair. All right, you guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.